Hello, in my last video I talked about something called neurofemorology, and I also mentioned the founder of uh, phenomenology, Edmund Husserl. Uh, now, uh, in the literature, uh, there is a method or a mythology uh, uh, developed uh, uh, and ready to use. Uh, and as far as I'm concerned, uh, Husserl's method doesn't work. And I'm going to try to explain why. Uh, uh, as for Husserl, there is something called the natural attitude. Uh, more often than not, it's called the natural attitude. That is uh, uh, what we are experiencing in everyday life. Uh, but in order to escape the natural attitude and uh, as for Raymond Husserl, he, he tries to do a, a version of first philosophy, which really isn't very uh, dissimilar to Descartes. Uh, uh, the method is called epoché. Now, by performing an epoché, you supposedly leave the so-called life world, or Lebenswelt in, in German, and uh, the external world is some, in some mysterious way, put into brackets. And so, after having performed the epoche, the uh, uh, external world uh, can be perceived as such, uh, which is, uh, I don't know, there are a great deal of blurry uh, formulations on, on that one, <laughs> but uh, uh, the main thing here is uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, a very fundamental thing about uh, Husserl's phenomenology is the so-called life world, which is uh, completely uh, internal uh, to the subject. Uh, and uh, you're, you are leaving the life world, so to speak, by performing the epoche. Now, the problem here is... Uh, that it's a circular argument. It's like uh, not unlike if you if you if you're an actor on, on a stage, and you have this audience, and, and all of a sudden the the curtains go down, or, or should I say, you you have your audience and and you see the audience, and uh, the curtains go down, and you still see the audience. <laughs> it's it's uh, I think it's it's it, that. Seems simplistic, but but it really, is, but it, it really isn't. In in the case of Husserl, it's it's the same thing. It, it's a, a kind of vicious uh, circle uh, that uh, has been dealt with after Husserl. Uh, and and uh, uh, as for method I, or mythology, I don't know. Uh, uh, where that's gone, uh, really. Uh, but uh, Husserl's method, the epoche, uh, is uh, very mysterious, and as far as I'm concerned, it's it's impossible and, and also quite useless <laughs> uh, for logical reasons and also for natural reasons. Uh, this was just a, a kind of a brief uh, uh, expansion on, on uh, what I uh, talked about uh, in my previous video on about neurophenomenology. Uh, 
uh, we may have uh, time so to, to, to uh, expand further on, on that issue. But uh, I have talked now, and uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.